To help you prepare for React job interviews, I created a few free coding challenges. These are also preparation for my React job simulator program. Let's start with the first coding challenge. The first challenge is a simple UI task. I would recommend to sign up to get all challenges, designs on Figma and video solutions for free. This is how it looks like. Once you signed up, you will have access to additional information. You will be able to create a repository on GitHub where you can work on the challenges. You will have access to the designs on Figma and obviously the challenges. All these challenges are taken from the React Job Simulator where you can work on many more tasks like this. I already created the repository and cloned it on my local machine. So let's get started. First, let's run the dev environment. And here it is. First, we'll start by working on the header. The skills tested are CSS. The difficulty is easy and we have a few items that we have to check off. So first, implement the header based on the designs. So let's check the designs. We have this here. We already have the logo. Then we have a few items here in the middle and then the open dashboard link. This exists already, but we have to turn it into a button. From the task, we already know that we have to change the index.jsx file here. Let's start with the HTML structure. We have four links, home, products, documentation, and pricing. Let's add them quickly. So we will get an ESLint error here. We will deal with that in a bit. Home products documentation pricing. Let's check the task for the links. So products documentation pricing, just the same. Since we use the Next.js application here, it recommends to use next link instead of the anchor tag. We could either disable this rule for this line or we use the link component. Then we wrap this into an A tag. Okay. Now this should fit our HTML already. So we have the logo, the links, and the dashboard button here. Next, we need some styling. We can start with this list. <clears throat> so let's call this nav items and then create a new style component here. Now this should be display flex. So now all the items are rendered next to each other. We have 32 is pixel spacing in between. So let's use this as a style component. Let's check, this should be okay. Now let's adjust the list styles. So UL, okay, list style none. Then we will have to change the text color and the text decoration. So this was list style none. Text decoration none. Let's replace all of these. So now we have a problem here. It tells us pass href is missing. So let's add this. 
we need to do that because we use a component now and not the anchor tag directly. So now we have to change the color of the links. Let's see what that is. So here, inspect and Okay, this looks already quite good. Now let's check the dashboard link. The link looks like a button and we can check the colors here, the height, we can fix that. There's a radius and some padding. So let's check the button. So we have one contact button, but that's not the correct one. Here, this one. So dashboard. Call like this. This should be wrapped in the link again. And So dashboard button doesn't exist yet. This is an anchor tag. It's still supposed to be a link. Now let's get some style. So we already have padding here. Padding. Now colors. The color is white, I guess. Text decoration we probably have to unset. Okay, let's see. So this looks already okay. So there's something wrong with the padding. This is not correct CSS. Okay. So then we have border radius of eight pixel. Border radius eight pixel. This looks already quite good. Now let's check the font size. So it should be into 516 pixel. So 16 pixel font size is the default, I guess. The font size, font family is inter, but the font weight is not set. Let's see if it changes something. Okay, so let's copy paste that over to our styles. Now let's quickly check that the background color of the header is correct. So we can simply background color red, for example, okay. And finally, if you want to make this pixel perfect, we can export the header. Then you can use the pixel perfect extension, for example. And see that doesn't fit yet so let's see 1440 pixel I guess that's the width of the design yes 1440 you can see that we need a container around this whole thing so the container here is 1280 pixel plus some padding 32 pixel here so we can add the container here
falschen Auto. Ähm, let's see. He can make this. So. Clean this up a bit here. Okay, move this up, okay. Now let's check. This looks already a bit better. But something broke here. Okay, I guess we need to set some So, okay, now this looks better already. You can see the container has some padding, I guess. As I said, 32 pixels. Um, let's make this. Okay, that looks already much better. Now let's change the text of the item here, button. So open dashboard. Now the height doesn't seem to match completely. Um, let's see wh what we have here. So this is 38, 39 pixels. So I guess we need to uh, set the 44 pixel if I'm not mistaken. So this is 44, okay. And now obviously the padding we should have 0, 18 pixel, okay. And now we need to either we can use the line height. So line height. 40, 40 pixel, or we make this display flex. Okay, this looks already pretty good. Actually, it seems to match already perfectly. Okay, perfect. So we have all our changes here. Now, in the React Job Simulator, we usually work on feature branches. So let's check out a new branch. Minus B and then uh, landing page header. Let's commit the changes and publish the branch. In the repository, we can see the new branch now and click compare and create pull request. So implement header. Let's call this landing page header. Header for landing pages. Okay, create a pull request. Now our CI pipeline will run. This will run Cypress tests, ESLint, Prettier, and other tools. And we can request a code review. There's not much to it at the moment, but it will simply approve the PR for having a proper workflow. Now we have to wait for the CI pipeline to finish, and then we can press the squash and merge button. If this looks interesting to you, consider signing up for the challenges here, and also check out the React Job Simulator, where you can work on a lot of more tasks with professional designs, techniques, and workflows.